Hi and welcome to one of Automatech's Watch and Learn series videos. Today we'll be talking to you about how to install and set up the IGS driver. I am your host, Franco Patron. I'm one of the support application engineers at Automatech. A couple of points we're going to go over in the video is how to install IGS properly, creating a simulation tag to show data, using the Quick Client to show some troubleshooting steps that we like to do, and importing an OPF file. To begin, you're going to download the ISO for the IGS software. I recommend downloading it from our Box website or from the GE customer portal. The newest version of IGS is 7.68 as of March 2021. We recommend going with the highest version available as it has compatibility updates with uh, PLCs such as Allen Bradley. Click your native language and hit OK. Then there, click Next, hit Accept. You can leave this blank for now. It's not going to change any of the configuration. So I want to make sure you install the entire feature. A lot of people uh, miss this step and wondering where all their protocols have gone. Make sure that the entire feature is installed. You can skip this for now, but if you want to add a password to your software, you can. I believe it needs 14 characters, so keep that in mind. Hit finish and you have successfully installed your IGS driver. From there you can select the IGS configuration icon on the desktop and this will bring up the IGS configuration window while you do most of your tag setup and import of the OPF files. From here we have the project tree on the left. Underneath it is the event log. This can be saved to a, um, a notepad, a Word document, whatever you'd like to if needed. But for right now, we're just going to talk about basic operations inside the IGS. Uh, a neat tool we'll use is the Quick Client that shows data coming in and out from every channel and tag. But again, we'll show that in a second. But right now, we're going to go to the project tree and create a channel. So we're going to go to connectivity, new channel. Um, luckily, IGS has a simulation channel, so we're going to select that, or protocol, whatever you like to call it. Call it demo, just for the sake of the example. You can pass through all this stuff. Unless you really know what you're doing, it's, it's going to go to the default settings for this driver. From there, we're going to go and set up a demo device. For this instance, it's going to be a PLC. All right. From there, we're going to make a demo tag. This is going to be a ramp tag. You can add a description if needed. And just in case you need an example of a simulation address, if you go to the right, there is a small ellipsis that shows you examples of how to address tags inside of the IGS. Okay. Now, if we want to see if data is coming in, what we can do is open up the Quick Client. If you ever use the OPC client driver, you can do the same. But we're going to select the IGS OPC server. We're going to drill down, create a group. Drill down and create an item. Oh, went in the wrong one. And find the item in the tree.
at the leaf. All right, and you see quality good, uh, value zero. So I'm going to go ahead and change that ramp function to a different number so that you can just see that the, the number is coming in. But if as long as it says good for quality, it's reading the number. So right now I'm going to change this by double clicking it. Going to ramp, I'm changing this third number to 100. And then doing the exact same thing, quick client. And now we see the value change to 100. Okay. So that kind of wraps up what we do with the uh, OPC Quick Client. We like to use it to make sure that we are getting good data coming into the system. Now, if you're building a uh, project or upgrading one or moving one to a new system, you can do is you can save the whole project configuration file as a OPF and you can export it, import it as you please. So right now I'm going to export a OPF file and just bring it to the desktop. And you can see on the left hand side of the window has it already has pre-configured channels. What I'm going to do is bring in a new OPF file. And what that's going to do is update the configuration. And now we have the project tree from that configuration. So we have all new tags, all new channels. Once we have the IGS configured and set up properly, we're going to go into our SCU and IFIX. I like to go from run command, type in SCU, you have to bring up your, um, your SCU that you've been using, go into the ellipsis, select the IGS driver, hit OK, file save, and this will add the IGS driver to your configuration for IFIX. And this concludes the Automotex Watch and Learn series video. If you have any more questions, please see your account rep or email us at support at Thank you and have a wonderful day.